Did you ever have one of those days where you just went down a rabbit hole? You're supposed to be doing one thing, you ended up doing something else, and then all of a sudden, what you were supposed to be doing comes front and center? Well, I'm having one of those days right now. I sent my husband for a grocery pickup, and I was supposed to be getting the counter and the table cleared so he could bring the groceries in and put them down. And I got so busy working on the one box challenge stuff that I was going to put in that that I forgot that he had already left to go pick up the groceries. So, oh, let me take care of this. And I don't want to put this in the dishwasher, so I'm going to set it over here so that it's out of the way. And since it's our monthly grocery order, we're going to need all of the space. So, and let me move these. One of my YouTube subscribers sent me these just for helping her out with her YouTube channel. So I'm going to move these out of the way too. And now that everything's cleared off, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting my hair combed and the face on. There, I feel so much better. I got my face on, I got my hair combed, and I'm not rushing. So now when he brings the groceries in, you can just put them on the counter and on the table, and I can get them put away. I've already got the fridge wiped out because I did that on my planning day, and now it's ready to receive the groceries. So the whole idea behind the one box challenge is just to fill a box with things that no longer serve you. Not trash, but things that no longer serve you. So I was working on that while the hubby went for the grocery order and here he comes. I'm going to get this in the freezer. So it looks like Kroger has changed their cold pack bags. They've got these paper bags for cold pack now. So let's see what did I get. Well, one of the things that I always try to get is pizza. And we have date night every Friday night. Friday night is movie night. And so I'll try to get pizza or something like that in for us to have with that. Again, this is our monthly order. So there'll be two pizzas in the freezer for the month. And then we can have something else on another Friday night. So there's pizza. And then fresh plums. Plums are produce. Are, it's starting to come in. So I ordered in some plums. And then we have broccoli for a while. I got some frozen broccoli. Oh, and then I'm going to be making some meals from my Cook Once, Eat All Week cookbook and the Batch Lady cookbook. And a couple of them called for broccoli. We haven't had any broccoli for months. So I ordered some of that. And then one of the recipes that I'm going to make is um, shepherd's pie with root vegetables. So I got some parsnips. And then I'm always using celery. So I got two big stalks of celery and I'm going to be making chicken broth later this week. So the old celery that's in the fridge is going to be going into that batch. And then I ordered a head of cabbage because I think I want to make a meal with like pork chops and cabbage or something like that this week. Something that's nice, healthy, is hearty. And that goes a long way. So got a cabbage so that we can do that. Frozen green beans for all the soups and different dishes I'm making. And then vegetable soup mix. I used one of these the other day. I made the best soup. I made it from leftover penne pasta and leftover tomato soup. And I just kind of went online and Googled recipe for 
penne pasta soup and I made this Italian chicken noodle soup and the penne pasta was the noodles and it was delicious and I used this vegetable soup mix from Kroger as the veggies and they worked out so well so I bought two so that I can make more soup. And then I like frozen vegetables so um, I got a bag of this uh, Green Giant rice veggies. I've not tried them, but they're like cauliflower and sweet potato. They're real tiny little things. I'm let you know how they work out. More corn. We eat a lot of corn. My husband loves it. And if you remember my Costco grocery haul when I was completely overwhelmed, if you missed that, I'll link it below. You'll get a good laugh out of us. But I couldn't find the Marie Callender chicken pot pie, so I ordered four of those from Kroger. So let me get these things out of the way and then I'll show you some more. I'm really excited about the meals I've got planned for the next month. I'm gonna be doing a cottage pie where I'm using ground beef. I'm gonna be doing a shepherd's pie where I'm actually using ground lamb. So I'm really excited about those things that are coming up. vegetables so I've got three packs of frozen mixed vegetables because I would need those for the cottage pie the shepherd's pie and a couple other things especially if I make any soup or something so I'm going to need those in addition to the soup vegetables and then just a couple of bags of frozen green peas more corn my husband likes corn like most people like bread more broccoli. There's a couple recipes in here. Broccoli. And then I got him some uh, sockeye salmon. You can grill it, bake it, or broil it. And so he'll be using this. And then a family sized bag of this Pacific Whiting. And then he'll break this down into like individual freezer bags for individual servings. And then cut okra southern style. There's a recipe that I'm making that calls for okra. And I do have some of my own okra in the freezer, but I'm gonna be using that in the upcoming recipe. So I just wanted to have some on standby. So I got that. And then of course, I've got some Texas toast, five cheese toast, and I really like that. Particularly if we're having a spaghetti or sometimes soup or something like that. Some Texas toast with a little bit of cheese on it really just kind of helps to extend the meal. So I have to tell you, my husband was teased by the guy who brought the groceries out to the car. He said, the guy said, it don't look like you plan on coming back here anytime soon. And he says, no, I don't. So this is our monthly grocery haul. So I'll put in a grocery order once a month and then we don't go back to the store. Whatever we run out of, we just run out of. So in this particular grocery order, we have eggs and I got two dozen. We've been out of eggs for almost two weeks, but I've been using my dry whole powder eggs from my preps, and they've been working fine for baking, but I haven't used them to do like scrambled eggs or anything like that, but they've been working beautifully in muffins and things like that. Well, we're gonna have some scrambled eggs and omelets for the next couple of days. And I want you to see this, look. Coffee, coffee. I haven't had coffee in over a week. I've just been out and, you know, I try not to go into the store too often. You know, we have our groceries ordered in. We're trying to be really cautious, you know, with COVID and all that kind of thing. So what we run out of, we're just out of. And then we use our preps and make do with whatever's in the house. But I was so glad to see this coffee. I opened it right up and made me a cup in my little curry. I drank it off camera, but it was like, oh, well, you know what? You might be able to see the coffee cup up there on top of the microwave. But it was like, I just need some coffee. And also, I was also out of cream. So it was good to get them both. I've been drinking tea. So one of the videos I worked on, I was drinking tea. And you know, I forgot how relaxing tea is. And I drink tea differently than how I drink coffee. You know, with coffee, I have the cup and I'm kind of sitting there and relaxing. But with tea, I just feel like I'm a little bit more refined when I'm drinking my tea. So it's been a good transition and I found that I will be drinking more tea, but I was really missing my coffee. So, okay, so I got four boxes of 
the um, Starbucks medium roast decaf house blend. And it's nice, bold, robust. It stands up to cream because I don't like my coffee black and it stands up to a good creamer. So that's why I like to get that kind. And this time they've got all decaf. So, oh, and the last time one of the boxes had been swapped out for a regular and I thought, well, what am I gonna do with that one? Well, my brother-in-law came over the other day and he wanted coffee and he likes his coffee regular. So I was able to pull that out and have had coffee for him. So it turned out to be all good. So I got bacon. I only got one pack. I was going to get two, but bacon is so expensive. Bacon is $11 a pound now. So I just got the one pack and then I got two packs of this cheddar cheese. I only see one, but I know there's two packs of that and then a pack of this Mexican blend cheese. And two packs of mozzarella, because I know there's some recipes that I'm making over the next month that calls for both of those. So I've got that. And then I've got these Toll House cookies. Now, these are really nice. They're the Pecan Turtle Delight. They're just slice, you bake them, and you serve them. And sometimes in the evening when hubby and I are watching TV and I just feel like I need a little treat, I'll go in and I'll put maybe six of them in the oven and then bake them up and then we'll sit there and have you know hot cookies uh, and watch TV together. So I just get a couple of packs because they are a little pricey. They're about two fifty dollars a pack. So I'll get those. And then I got two packs of this sliced cheese. We do make grilled cheese sandwiches. Now only one of these is for us. I do have a sister who is disabled. Not the one that joins me on YouTube quite a bit. I have another sister that's disabled. And so when I buy groceries now, I'll pick up a few extra things for her. And this is one of the extra things that I got for her. And then of course, you know, sour cream, you always need that for cooking, that kind of thing. And then a couple of the recipes need shredded Parmesan cheese. So I got some of the real shredded Parmesan cheese from the uh, dairy case at Kroger. I do have some of the, the stuff that's in the can to shake out like the craft, but this is not, this is the kind that they actually shredded it off the block. So I'll be using that for a couple recipes. One of them, which I believe is one of those shepherd's pies. And then of course, I'm making a lasagna and I needed some ricotta cheese for that. And granted, you can use cottage cheese for that, but I thought, well, since I'm putting it in an order, I'll just go ahead and get the ricotta cheese. When I was younger and I made um, lasagna and I had a big family, I bought cottage cheese instead of ricotta. And that brings me to another point. One of my subscribers said, Miss Denise, your grocery hauls are for rich people. She said, I feed my family on a budget so that I'm doing the best I can. And I thought about that. And so there's a couple things I want to share. Number one, don't compare your beginning to somebody else's middle. I'm in the middle of my life now, probably closer to the end than the middle. But I'm certainly in the middle and toward the higher end of my income bracket. So I don't have as much, so I have a little bit more disposable income today because I don't have three kids at home that I have to feed and clothe and pay gas and pay for cheerleading and soccer and basketball and baseball and all the stuff the kids do. When we were a young family with kids at home, I didn't buy some of the things that I buy today. Like, I didn't buy this kind of cheese. I bought the Kraft Parmesan cheese in the can so I could you know, sprinkle it out, that kind of thing. So since it's just he and I, and we eat all of our meals at home, except maybe on a Friday night, or once in a while I can convince them, let's, let's just get dinner. It's Tuesday, let's go to Qdoba and pick up something. We eat all our meals at home. So actually, what I do spend is good value for us. But as I pointed out, you know, I don't have all of the other expenses that young families have. So I heard what she was saying, and I'm not discounting what she was saying, because I get it, because I've been there, done that, and I appreciate the struggle. The struggle is real for young homemakers. You gotta make it work. So, so this time, um, as I thought about this grocery haul, I thought about foods that I was gonna buy, that I was gonna actually make more meals here in the house, and not so many, you know, like 
processed foods, like the pot pies. Now, I like to get those for lunches when I'm in a hurry, but I'm gonna make more shepherd's pies and chicken pot pies and those kind of things at home so I don't have that additional expense. So, let me get these things put away and I'll get the next patch out. So I'll put one of these dozens of eggs here in this little egg container. That way when I put this container in the fridge, I can set my sour cream on top of that container and then I'll put the other one in our refrigerator that's in the garage. My husband has a almost, well, it's a family size refrigerator. It's an old one. He got it at a secondhand appliance shop for bait and beer. When Matt, we used to have one of those like dorm size ones out there. So when he said he needed to get a new one and it came and I thought, and the delivery guy brought it up, I'm like, that big old thing for bait and beer? And the guy stood there and looked at it. He said, I can see that. And I'm like, man, but it keeps the bait out of the house. So I'll put it that way. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned these or not. I like to get these cinnamon rolls. We'll have these sometimes on Sunday morning. My husband makes breakfast usually, but particularly on Sunday mornings, he'll make a nice breakfast. Or if I'm feeling extra nice, I'll make a nice breakfast on Sunday, something more than just oatmeal or whatever. And uh, he loves these cinnamon rolls with the uh, frosting on them. So I'll get these for those days. And then we drink almond milk. And Silk is a good brand. I really like it. We'll buy the Simple Truth or, you know, whatever is on sale. And this is what they had in the grocery order today. So here are a few other things that I've got. But I wanted to show you something. This is the book that I'm talking about. It's the Cook Once, Eat All Week Cookbook by Cassie Jo Garcia. And it's also gluten-free. So for those of you families who need uh, gluten-free recipes, it's got a bunch of them in there. But I don't use the gluten free stuff. If X for gluten free spaghetti, I put in regular spaghetti or whole wheat spaghetti, whatever. I make it work for us. But I love the way she has things laid out. So I've been using that one. And there are several recipes I'm going to make from that one. And this one is called The Batch Lady. And I think she lives in Canada. So some of the things that she would ask for, I can't find locally. But she's got some really good recipes in here too. And she will show you how to make like 10 freezer meals at one time. And I'm going to try some of that, but there's the cottage pie and the shepherd's pie recipes are in this one that I'm going to try. So I have a pound of ground lamb, and this stuff was $9.99 for a pound. But I'm going to make a cottage pie. Cottage pie, you have lamb. Shepherd's pie, you use ground beef. And I think the shepherd pie, which is in this cookbook, the shepherd's pie is a mashed root vegetables that you're going to use as the topping instead of like mashed potatoes. So that's why I got those parsnips. So I'm really excited to try that. And then there was another recipe in there that called for sweet Italian sausage. And it was in the Batch Lady cookbook. So that's why I got those. And then I always try to get a couple of pounds of ground turkey. You know, ground turkey and ground beef. So if I'm making spaghetti or chili or whatever, I just have that. So whereas I planned out 15 meals for the month of March, I'm just kind of got to just kind of look in the fridge and see what I've got for some of the other days. So because I tend to have enough to do whatever I need to do. And then also that's a way that I can make meals that I can make a batch big enough that's for the hubby and I and I can put half of it in a freezer container and then put it in the freezer and pull it out at another time. And then breakfast sausage, and what I will do with this breakfast sausage is I will divide the pack in half and put them in the freezer bags, and I'll have one pack in the fridge and the other packs will be in the freezer so that it's not sitting in the fridge and then wasting it like I have often done. Because we don't eat that much sausage. We'll eat it a couple times a week, or if it's in the fridge, the hubby will cook it every day. So I try not to have too much in there so that we're not eating sausage all the time. And I've been making lots of soup and recipes that needed chicken broth. So I had to buy some. I'm going to make some, but until I get some made, I picked up three of those. And then a lot of recipes that I make call for cooking wine, red wine. And I never have any. Or if I have some red wine that me and my sisters might want to drink, 
I don't want to open it and use a quarter cup of it for a recipe, so I ordered some cooking wine at the store. So I'll put this up there with my vinegars and things like that. And then I got a couple red peppers. These are huge, aren't they beautiful? And red peppers are expensive. So when I start my garden, you better believe I'm gonna make sure that I grow some red peppers. I did grow red peppers last summer, but I used all the red ones. I still got some of the frozen green peppers left, but the red ones are gone. And then my husband likes grapes. So I was like to get some seedless grapes for him. And they're not like in season right now, but they're coming. And then a couple pounds, a couple bags of carrots. I use lots of carrots, soups and stews and shepherd's pies and root roasted vegetables and whatever. You use carrots forever. So for you young moms that are trying to stretch your dollars, carrots are a good buy and using them in things. And if you think, well, you know, my kids don't like carrots. You just have to get them used to carrots. Get them started eating carrots early when they're little, uh, give them little finger sized pieces when they can kind of munch on and then gradually cook them, sweeten them, whatever, and just kind of get them used to the flavor of it. And then I got some um, green onions for the enchilada casserole and a couple of the other recipes that's coming up. And then of course, you gotta have onions for cooking in general. And then we do like this Jimmy Dean turkey sausage. It is completely cooked. You just pop it in the microwave and heat it up. So it's really nice for a quick breakfast. And uh, I'll get these put away and I'll come back. One of the things that I did order was some fresh cilantro. I'm going to use it for some of those Mexican uh, dinners that I'm going to be making. I think the one recipe was some kind of an enchilada casserole and it called for cilantro, but let me get some water to put it in. So I'm going to go right ahead and get this right down in this mason jar like that so that it can try and stay as fresh as possible. So I'll set that over there. And I only got one loaf of bread. I mean, you just really can't buy too much bread and then sit for a month. So I think I'm gonna make bread next week. So I bought one loaf for this week. And then I like these Thomas English muffins. They last for a while, so we'll have these. Or I'll have these for breakfast. Hubby likes them okay, but he prefers regular toast. And I just got four sweet potatoes. Um, I'm going to have sweet potatoes as one of the root vegetables in that um, shepherd's pie with root vegetables. And since I've been making lots of soup, I've been using lots of tomato paste. So I got a couple of cans of that. Now, for those of you that normally follow me know that I usually only buy red and gold. Well, I'm becoming much more aware of the price of things. And so the Kroger brand was like 39 cents. So. I got that this time and even got the Kroger tomato sauce. These little small sizes were what I've been using quite a bit. And then one of my upcoming recipes calls for some chopped green chilies. And they need it 10 ounces. And the, these little cans come in four to five, four and a half ounce sizes. And the one that was like 10 and 12 ounces, I couldn't afford. So I got four cans of these small ones. So I'll need two for the one recipe that's coming up and two to have on my bread shelf. And then I've been using lots of petite diced tomatoes. So I got a couple cans of those. Notice again, it's the Kroger brand this time. And then two containers of orange juice. And this will last us probably for about three or four weeks. He drinks more orange juice than I do. I tend to drink more apple juice. So that's why there's two bottles. I've been using lots of black beans and soups and other things. So I got some of those. And then just needed another jar of gravy. I like to keep that on hand, so if I want to just grab a jar out of the pantry real quick to put on mashed potatoes or rice, I've got it. And one of those recipes in the Batch Lady Cookbook is some kind of a tiki marsala vegetable thingy, and I needed some tiki marsala sauce. So I got some of this, and they actually had it at Kroger. Some of the other spices she asked for I couldn't find. And then, of course, I needed some chili sauce, and I always get the Heinz chili sauce. We needed some steak sauce. We've been eating lots of steaks. He ordered steaks from somewhere. So we've got some in the freezer. So we needed some more of that. And then if you follow me, you know, we like this Uncle Ben's uh, ready rice. And I will from time to time cook up a big pot of rice and then just have some in the fridge in a container for leftovers so he can get at it. But if hubby's making lunch or dinner and he needs rice in a hurry, 
He likes this. You can just pop it in the microwave in 90 seconds and you've got delicious, beautiful, fluffy rice. So I try to keep some of this on hand. I'm gonna be making some lasagna. So I needed lasagna noodles. And I like this Digestive Awakenings Blackberry Apple Cider Tea by the Yogi brand. And when the pandemic first started and I started ordering online, it was like in short supply. I tried to order some on Amazon and the price was crazy. So we didn't have any for a while. Well, now it's back in stock. It's pretty easy to get. So when we get down to two boxes, then I try to order two more. So a couple boxes of that. And then I just ordered four apples, four large size apples. And, you know, we slice those up with our little apple slicer and I get a nice little snack. And then I ordered three peaches, three plums. I've already put the plums in the fridge and this is the only snack food that I got this time. This bag of white cheddar popcorn. And I started buying this particular brand after watching a Rachel Ray episode. She was making this delicious uh, tomato soup, or it could have been from her Big Orange Cookbook. But anyway, it was a Rachel Ray tomato soup recipe. And then she said, serve it with some white cheddar popcorn. So I got some to do that. It was delicious. So I always try to have some white cheddar popcorn on hand when I'm gonna be making a tomato soup for lunch or something like that. And that is everything. I put the frozen vegetables and the meats and things like that. I just went ahead and stuck them in the fridge or in the freezer just so they're not out here on the counter. But I will rearrange those baskets that I have in the freezer and show you how I do that. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to do another video to show you how I pack those veggies in, into baskets. So be sure to come back and see that. And then I've got some blueberries to put away. So let me get these out of the way and I'll get those blueberries put away. So I'm going to just let those sit in the freezer just for about 30 minutes, just enough so they freeze and when I put them in the freezer bag they don't all stick together. So that's what I'm doing with that. get frozen to the cookie sheet so I just need to kind of brush them off just a little bit just so they'll roll into the bag when I'm ready to pour them. I love these Food Saver Easy Fill bags. They work really well when I need to put up produce like blueberries or strawberries or even beans or different things like that. They just really work out nicely. And then I use my Space Saving Food Saver Mini to vacuum seal them. I 
And here you go. I thought I would never get these groceries put away. I feel like it's literally been the never ending grocery haul. With the interruptions and the phone calls and that kind of thing, it has just seemed to take forever. But interruptions and phone calls and those kinds of things are just a part of a homemaker's life. If you want to see more of my homemaking stories, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out my video on my whole house declutter where I showed you how to find the hidden clutter in your house. And I will see you next time.